We can have BTs, which is clay accumulation. We can have Ys, which is gypsum. And Zs are other soluble salts. Ks are carbonates, so you might have to have things like gravelly, very gravelly, cobbly. This is a regional collegiate soil judging contest. We have representatives from South Dakota State University, University of Nebraska, Montana State University, University of Minnesota, Iowa State. Who can do the best job describing the soil and landscape? First, Group C will go in, then A, and then B. They're making calls on on how, how water will hold up in the soil, things like that. So they, they're making a lot of different calls uh, very quickly, something that would take a soil scientist much longer to do, and we're having them do it in about 50 minutes. Two minutes. If you look at soil, sometimes you feel like, oh, that's just dirt. Be my teacher Becky was like, actually, it's not dirt, it's soil. I said, no, this is dirt. <laughs> so it's just like, I don't think a lot of people understand that it's more to this. There's just so many different things that you have to do with your hands, just with your hands, to try to figure out what kind of soil it is. No, I didn't worry about it. I mean, everybody's been saying that, but I'm just used to it. <laughs> Being able to determine, for example, the wetness cost of a soil might help, help a, a farmer know if he should leave land in permanent grass or if it would be suitable for tillage. Knowing about how the slope impacts um, erosion potential of a site can be useful for a producer. So it does have implications for production agriculture. Well, of course, that's what the plants are growing in. That's the medium, essentially, and um, understanding how water moves in that, in that medium and how nutrients are tied up in that material are, are, is really important for agronomy and understanding how your plants are growing. Each soil has its own name that's super complicated, like Alibol, or RG, Argyal ball, and that that is a super complicated description. But if you know it, it's like a language. It, by just reading that word, you're like, okay, we've had clay alluviation, we have an e-horizon, and it's um, you probably an upland soil, mollusol formed on a prairie. And then what's really cool is by just looking at those pits, I could tell you if you can build a house there without a basement. I can tell you if you can put a septic system there, and I can tell you say if it's going to flood or not. Oh my gosh, the amount of soil puns. And soil scientists in general, like, I love this pun. We're down to earth. All less is, is dust in the wind. <laughs> Which soil scientists would chuckle at a little bit. 